What is happening guys? This is Koya from Studio Oxygen Africa and welcome to Absolute Commercial Breakdown. So recently Studio Oxygen worked on a first capital bank ad in their fraud campaign, but before I talk about it, let's take a look. Hello? That's what I do 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 That's what I First Capital Bank Belief comes first so there are a couple of things that you need to understand before you make your TV commercial for a client, right? For you to make sure it comes out right, it actually reaches the targeted audience, and obviously it also looks and sounds good, right? Because these are obviously two elements that need to be fused together to give um, a good product to everyone. So the first thing that you need to do is understand their assignment. So what does it mean to understand their assignment? Well, your client has an audience and they want to reach that audience and it's up to you now to make their concept fit what that audience would actually want to hear or in this case, watch, right? So that could be language, accent, and in that, or after that, that's when you can actually pick the type of voice of a model you want for that particular commercial. Or in this case, which is a slight dialogue, um, you might want to use that script and say, okay, fine, then who are the people that are conversing in this actual video? So that will surely guide you um, towards making that choice. Once you're done with your script and you've recorded your voice of a models, you then need to work on the music for the ad. Now, it is very important for you to actually give the best possible sound for the scenario and not just pick something off of the web and just smack it on. I mean, you can find several ways of, I don't know, downloading soundtracks, whatever, which I don't recommend personally because I don't. We prefer making our own soundtracks because it fits the ad very well. We know, we know what we want to say. You're able to design the sound specifically to obviously the ad that you've that you've shot or that you've animated and everything else like that so it just fits on very well but of course if you don't have um, in-house talent it might get a little bit expensive for you to start um hiring people to come play for you and stuff like that but if you can if your budget can accommodate i would surely recommend that you do that because it's the difference is literally day and night trust me um it's very amazing how much you can do uh, or how much life your video will actually have the moment you uh, work on your own audios, um, your own beats for, for the ads and sound effects and everything else like that. After this, you move on to asset preparation. This is basically sketching the scenes that you actually want to have in the video based off of the storyboard that you hopefully did share with your client to avoid any back and forths. Once you're done with this, you then prepare all your assets for animation. So asset prepping is essentially making sure all the layers that you've designed, whether in Photoshop or Illustrator, are good for animation. Um, that's obviously prepping your character for um, making sure your character is rigged in, in, in maybe um, After Effects, which we used in this case, um, or any other software. So just making sure all your layers are um, structured in a way that you're able to move them around, obviously, in the software freely without having to Maybe, maybe you merged, let's say, a layer or two, so you obviously separate them, so you have all that freedom and control. When you're done with that, then you can obviously render out your project. Usually at this point, you start to realize it a little bit, maybe of uh, issues that you can work on in terms of timing, time remapping and color grading if need be. Um, and then you obviously go back to the project. If you have a team, it even helps, or someone who can just, you know, critique you a little bit. It'll help you out quite a lot. If you feel that the time remapping and the color grading and everything else is fixed, you move to, I would say the second to the last part, which is sound effects. Now, remember on step number three or four, I said sound is a very important step um, in everything. So right now you're just adding life to this entire ad. Like in this case where the grandma um, smacks this guy, if that sound wasn't there, it would have just been, yeah, not much going on to it. Even when we zoom in to the sec uh, one of the last shots where she actually cuts the phone, the fact that you hear that sound, you see the action, and even the sound is actually panned a little bit to the to the to the right of the screen, you know, just to make just to make everything seem as real as possible, it does give the um, the, the the video a lot more value, and and it and it feels easy to. To just watch and understand what exactly is going on it makes your communication process 
extremely easy. After this, you're more or less done with everything. You can render out your project and show it to, like I said, a few people that you know might give you valuable input. Uh, maybe work on, work on a few of those things and after that, you're actually ready to go. So I hope this has been somewhat of help in terms of how we are able to work on our projects at Studio Oxygen. And if you have any questions in regards to um, how or maybe a few other specific steps that you felt like I might have missed because I know I didn't go like in depth in everything um, I wanted to keep this short and sweet if you found this useful please let me know if you have any other questions in regards to this video please feel free to hit the comment section I'll be more than happy to check that out and help you out but until next time see y'all later